There's a lot to talk about, man. I'm going to have stuff to talk about for years. I know. You know, some of your letters to me seemed as though it was the worst hell a human being can be in. I mean, you've served in the Middle East. You mean the ones you didn't read? The ones you shredded? I heard about that. I knew I shredded. They started to get redundant. Did Beth catch you shredding one of my letters? She did. She did. She goes, what are you doing with Cabby's letter? I go, it's all the same letter. I can't take it. Yo, those are going to be in the Smithsonian someday. Talk to me. First of all, the the, the big news was at one point you were you had changed your name, but you wouldn't reveal your name. And I started to worry you were losing your grip on reality. What happened there? I, uh, well, my life was saved in prison by God. And not... I'm not religious, and I'm not. I'm spiritual. I always have been. Yes. Part of that comes with my sobriety. Artie, how you doing with that? Uh, you know, <laughs> I've been there. I, yo, he, he I do me from time to time. But you, Cabby, you've had sobriety. You were in prison. I mean, you do you, yo. But I kind of lost my sobriety because they drugged me in a federal prison. I think allegedly, supposedly, that's how I'll put it. I started to think maybe you had a little mental breakdown like the old That's days. what uh, somebody tried to push on me. It wasn't a mental breakdown, man. Something happened. You feel you were drugged in prison? I feel that something I, I'm going to... Was gonna... it in your food or you're thinking of what? what? I'm g for, for, uh, for right now, because I haven't consulted attorneys, and I'm going to consult attorneys for right now, I'm just going to say something very bad happened at Fort Dix in the special housing unit. Oh. I've done many drugs in my life, and it was not a mental breakdown. It was uh, evil, and it was, I believe, something happened with my food. Hmm. And it had uh, uh, the qualities of a narcotic, and that's what I'll say. Why would someone want to drug you? I don't know. The last thing I remember before it all happened was, fuck you, fuck Howard Stern, enjoy your meal, motherfucker, and that is no bullshit. And that, that night, I started talking to myself and babbling to myself and losing grip on reality, and it lasted for a better part of 50 days. <laughs> and I'm talking, yo, out of this world, seeing things, talking to myself, talking to you, Talking to dead rock stars, demons flying in and out of me, uh, talking to Jesus. Who are you? Who are now, you think that's a mental breakdown? You can believe that, but I do not think what it rock was. stars? Yeah, who visits? Yeah. I mean, a lot, lot of, lot of current ones that I've interviewed. And not just talking to them, Howard. Yo, talking to them in my voice and their voice coming out of me exactly as their voice. Kevin, you know I love you. Can you do but Keith Moon? Just, can I just can I just say something though about that? Yeah. You remember when your TV was talking to you? Yeah, but you I was to... doing drugs. Thank you. Oh, okay. So he's uh. saying he must have been drugs. So okay, I and I yo I said this to the psychiatrist at uh, Fort Devens. Yes. Because he tried to put it on me as he was telling me to forget about what happened at Fort Dix. I said, how am I going to forget? He goes, forget about it like you forgot about the war. Because I have PTSD, right? I wait, suffer from it. Right. How, wait a second. How long have you been out of prison now? An hour? No. How Two long? hours? Uh, four something. Four hours. You right. got out this morning. Yeah. What was that like for you? I mean, you did a year. A year is no easy time, is it? You know how people go, ah, oh, it's just, he just Listen, got a year. When you're doing a year and you're surrounded by guys that are doing 15, 20, 30, 50, yo, there was a guy in my unit, he was doing 50 years and he had done 20 of it. You know what I'm saying? A year, they, is, a year is nothing, you, but do, a year is still a year in my life. Do the other prisoners get resentful that you only have a year? Some do. You can see it, but most don't because they they seem to be, yo, that's your time and that's my time. You know what I mean? They 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 don't. There was, as I see, as I saw it, there was no resentment. But yo, know, some guys, yeah, there's anger. Now, what but kind that's of prisons crime. were you in? Because we just read that Richard Hatch is going into, he had the same kind of a deal where he had a tax problem, and they've given him 51 months, and they said he's going to do really hard time. Well, there's different classifications. Mm -hmm. The camp I was in was a camp, mm -hmm. and that's lo like your lowest security level. But when I <laughs> allegedly tried to kill myself by hanging myself from a table... This is what they said. Yes. That was a foot off the ground. Mm hmm That's hard. During my alleged mental breakdown. Yes. Which I say was not a mental breakdown. It was... You feel you were medicated? Yeah, not medicated. Drugged. Tor tortured. Tortured? 
Yo, if you drug me and I'm in a federal prison, and this is what I think happened, allegedly, supposedly, and I say that because I still haven't spoke with an attorney. All right. So if 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 you okay, when they say I tried to hang myself, but that's not what happened. Do you see any strangulation marks on my neck? I can't. There's too many tattoos. Yeah, on I think the tattoos cover. <laughs> I thought it was but, a strangulation. Mark. But that night they were videotaping me through the window, yes. and I was flipping them off, and I was naked. In my cell because who was I, videotaping the COs because I thought they were going to come in and try to shatter me. Wait, wait, I got, you got to you got to back up here. This is wild what you're telling me here. This happened when you went into prison. Yes. I remember the day you went into prison. The reason all this started in the SHU, the special housing unit, the hole was because I called your show yes, from you the right, cell phone. Right. You're not the first supposed to do thing that, we I guess. Were here. I called from a cell phone from a federal prison. Right, you're not allowed to do that. There are well, no you're not there are not supposed to have a cell phone. There's not supposed to be cell phones in the federal prison system. But the reason that it all started was because I wouldn't tell them where I got the cell phone because I don't tell on people and you're not You're not a rat. To, I'm not a rat. And no. I the guy who gave me the phone Yo, however he got it in there, yo, that was his deal, and I wasn't going to rain on his parade because he was good enough to let me use his cell phone to call now, I your show because you were leaving the air, and I wanted to give you a little going away present. By the way, Cabby, I notice now when you speak, you use the word yo, almost like a black man. Were you surrounded by a lot of black people? I in wear the coat of many colors, and I blended in with all of them. Did you? Did a group try to pick uh, you out? In other words, did you... Uh... Many groups did. The Italians sucked me in first. Yeah. Represent. Guess who I played bocce with the other night? Who? John Gambino. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. I beat him. That and I'm still smart. breathing. Let me ask you this. He was a good guy. Very good you guy. You went into prison. You yes. had to be freaking out. I mean, you're not a guy who's ever been exposed to I almost to got in a fight my first day. I with... like to say that Mr. Gambino is wrongly in prison. Yo, yeah. you, speaking of that, he was supposed to get out after serving 15 years. And the day he was getting out, he told me this story himself because we were sitting next to each other yesterday when I had my form to get out. Yes. The day he was getting out, his family, 20 members of his family were there to pick him up. They stopped him at the door and pulled him back in. He's been waiting nine months. They're, uh, they're going to extradite him to Italy to, for some other thing. Wow. And, he, you know, he just ran a construction company. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's what he what told me. Doesn't saying. make any sense. That's what yo. That's what yeah, he told me. Look, as far as I nice guy say. though, great bocce player. Kebby, what happened when you d wrote me these letters that you were going to change your name? Uh, I was going to change my name to something else because I felt that the prison had killed Lee Morozek and Cabby. Right. And I was going to change my name to and Mason. What? Mason. Mason. Why yes. Mason? Yeah, because you said this is my new signature. Because but it looked like a symbol. You it looked. Yeah, it looked well, like a scribble. Well, because some of the fellas that were uh, uh, doing things to me were uh, Masons, Freemasons. Ah. I see. So you decided to change your name to Mason to yep, make you stronger. Because the big Mason saved me, hmm. and you know who he is. God. Right. And have you switched religions? Are you now a Muslim? Uh, Salam alaikum. I'm all religions. No, really. What are you seriously? I'm just spiritual. Did you, you didn't I, have a conversion? No, I, I did. Actually, I so I could get the common fare meals. I did change to Jew. I'm a Jew. You're a Jew yeah. by by prison only. I'm a pew. I'm a prison Jew. Because <laughs> <laughs> so the common fare meals in prison are you get f fresh vegetables, and that's what helped me lose a lot of the weight. Kosher meals. Because the yeah the kosher yeah. meals, and because the prison food is unbelievably but bad. Can't be be serious with me for a I'm being real, very, very serious. serious. On a scale of one to ten, yeah. to ten being the hardest thing you ever did in your life, was this the hardest? Well, it, it wasn't the hardest, but it was uh, a very learned experience because, yo, there are some evil things going on there, and there are some crooked things going on there, and there are some bad things going on there. Uh, no, it wasn't the hardest thing, but the two months that bad things happened to me in the shoe. Those what is things, the shoe? The, it's the special housing unit. That's where you go when you do something bad and it, that solitary yeah you're you're locked in a cell but i was for a month of it i was locked in with another inmate and he saw some of my um drugging or my alleged uh hijinks what was going on so i have witness to what happened